Hey farm hands, farm by Reef here. So we got another episode of Coral Friday, and I picked some really nice specimens for you guys. So this week I ended up picking up land and two nice corals for his tank. I got a couple, I put a place a couple of my own corals in there, open brain coral, to give them some color. So the corals I got this week was a nice Florida Recordia. It's got three polyps on there, and it's it's beautiful. And the other one I got is a nice uh, like a strawberry acan color. It's amazing. So I can't wait to get these all placed up in his tank. Can't wait for him to see them. So a few uh, requirements for uh, these corals. The Florida Recordia, they like to be placement in the bottom. They like a, just a moderate flow, not too much flow. And with the lighting as well, they don't want it too bright, but just enough lighting. Metal halides are probably a little too bright on, you'll burn that coral out. But these radions should be just perfect. So low placement, moderate flow, moderate light as well. It has the zootolithanales uh, algae that grows in its skin that feeds, feeds most of it, but you can give it the odd spot feeding as well, give it some reefroids, um, uh, some shrimp, it, it'll love that and keep it very happy in your tank. So moving on uh, to the Acan as well, it likes moderate flow, moderate light. You don't want to burn that coral as well, so it's going to be more placement near the bottom. So I got a couple great areas here where we're going to place these corals and hopefully with the radions we're going to make them pop. So remember, medium flow, medium light, it should be very happy and same thing as well. You can uh, feed it some uh, reefroids or just spot feed it as well, some uh, nice shrimp. So th these are going to be some great specimens guys, can't wait to get them in here. Always remember when you're activating your corals like I do, I add a little bit of uh, my tank water to the bag, to keep my salinity the same, keep my temperature, it's very important because we don't want to shock that coral, we want to make sure we give our coral a fighting chance as well. Plus, it's always very important to coral dip as well, guys. Um, I use uh, the reef primer, it's been really good. But uh, usually what I've been doing is at my local fish store at Marine Escape in Ottawa. They have the reef primer there, and we've been just uh, testing it ourselves and see what's coming off as corals, and it was really clean. So always make sure and coral dip, you guys. You don't want to get anything in your tank. It's very easy You have something get in there and eradicate. You have like, you know, the little uh, starfish, you know, the pest starfish that like to latch on to hammers and stuff like that, eat the flesh around uh, the base of those corals. It's not like they mean to do it, but they just, they're just they just feeding away and then they start eating that flesh. So it's best if you can keep them out. What we have to do now is we're going to get the, these corals all mounted up. And today I'm going to use uh, the D&D Aquascape Epoxy. This stuff works great. Put Rip off a little bit, put it around the base, mix it together. It looks like coralline algae. And then what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of coral glue, mold it on the bottom and give it a little bit of glue. And then we're going to stick that and place that right near the bottom moderate flow, moderate light guys. So let's get this all mounted up and I'll bring you guys in nice and close and we're gonna check these under the radions to see if we can get these corals to pop. All right guys, so here's the two specimens for uh, Landis tank. As you guys see on the left, we've got the Florida Recordia and on the right, we have uh, the Acan. Don't they look great? So I got the reef link open. Let's start turning these down and see what we got. So let's take the reds down. Let's take the greens down. Let's take the cool whites. So now we're just blue, royal blue and UV. You guys see the specimen on the left, the nice mouth on it, it's a real nice bright green. And on the right, the Acan, which really started with the pop and then with the red, and you can see there's a little bit of yellow in there as well. So it's really coming along. So let's turn the blues down just a little bit more. So you guys can see those are very nice specimens. I can't wait for those uh, just to keep uh, spreading in Landon's tank. Then I can frag some up and put them in my uh, 220 as well. So everybody wins. So let's go to a couple presets here, see what we got. Let's go uh, polyfluorescent. They look great. All right guys, so that's uh, Coral Fry for this week. I hope you really enjoyed these specimens. They're gonna turn out really well. I can't wait for them to take off so I can frag them up and put some in my 220. So hopefully Landon's gonna like those when he wakes up and checks them out. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Hopefully see you guys next week, same time, same place. Thanks guys, bye.